hello everyone in this session we will discuss about the next topic is characteristics of dc series motor so you know the dc series motor it is the dc motor this is the armature and this is the series winding this is the series winding which gives the series flux and so it will take the electrical power so voltage is constant you can write it as electrical power and which will produce the mechanical power so this is the mechanical power which will produce the mechanical power so generally this is series motor we have to discuss the characteristics so here the most important thing is whenever the armature current is proportional to the flux here so I can write like this this is the series flux generally the series flux is proportional to the armature current so whenever the armature current increases then automatically the series flux also increases so that means we can write one point when it is increases as the load mechanical power requirement is more then it will take more armature current as load increases as load increases then automatically armature current increases then implies the flux is also increases flux is also increases so by doing this here flux is variable so we can write the series machine therefore the series machine is variable flux machine is variable flux machine okay right so what is the first characteristics this this keep in your mind then we will enter into the characteristics here the first characteristics is speed versus armature current speed versus armature current okay so this is the armature current versus speed how we can write generally the speed is speed is inversely proportional to eb by phi eb by phi so if you consider the speed is inversely proportional to the flux so how i can write here the flux is proportional to the armature current so the armature current and the speed both are inversely proportional that's why the curve is here the speed versus the armature current is rectangular rectangular hyperbola it is non linear curve it is a non linear curve look like this so that is the thing flux more changes from no load to full load so no load we have zero flux full load we have more flux but v minus ia area is less changes from no load to full load so that's why here approximately eb generally eb is nothing but v minus ia ra from this this uh, this ratio low value no load to full load no load to full load we, we have when the low change small change compare with the flux so that's why we can approximately we can take it as a constant approximately we can take it as a constant so here that is the thing only that's why we can directly write speed is inversely proportional to the flux and that is inversely proportional to the armature current so here the speed is for low value of the current zero value of the current speed is more when it is increases we have two things if the saturation is considered the flux the wave will like this if the saturation is considered the wave is like this saturation consider and this is saturation is neglected saturation neglected okay when the saturation is considered then speed become the constant the saturation is neglected speed is inversely proportional with the current 
okay at overload condition if the more current is there the field poles will saturate field pole become saturated and flux become constant saturation means what is the meaning of the saturation saturation means itself flux is become the constant okay then the speed is proportional to v minus i a r a that time flux constant means speed is proportional to v minus i a r a the characteristics are similar to shunt motor then it become the similar characteristics with the shunt motor this is the first case this is this is a rare case actually we are not operating in a overload that's why this is the very rare case so when the field poles get saturation that time we are using that phenomena next series motors are never be started under no load condition this is most important thing under no load condition because it rotate with dangerously high speed when we are using no load dangerously high speed they can't with withstand high speed okay so series motor always for more loads better to use for more loads so that is the reason here traction engine is big load so generally dc series motor having very much application in traction dc series motor here we have more applications in so traction engine is the big load so how what is the reason speed is inversely proportional to the flux here for example if no load if no load means the flux will become the zero when the flux will become the zero that means speed will become there is a chance of infinite speed become infinite means what is this meaning it is dangerously high speed become dangerously high speed and damage will occur that is the very important thing here so always the dc series motor start with big load so traction is the best example for this the next next thing is torque versus armature current characteristics so here you know general torque formula torque is flux into armature current here both flux and armature current both are in proportional case then torque is proportional to armature current square okay so look at here here the torque and the armature current the curve is parabola generally this curve is the parabola not linear mode this is the this is the parabola mode and this is the parabola mode so parabola mode this is okay this is the mode right so it will be like this characteristics are parabola before saturation saturation it should be constant but characteristics are linear after saturation so after getting the saturation it will become linear curve that means it will become straight line actually it will become the straight line this is the parabola this is the linear mode okay next every motor requires every motor so here every motor requires 1.5 to 2 times of more torque is required because of the inertia which is a general thing it require the more and more torque so inertia is more that's why it require the more torque generally for local trains have large torque generally local 
consisting of the launch torque because every series motor develops high starting torque so that's why we are using the dc series motor only dc series motor only they are the better suitable for torques and lifting applications so these are very much suitable in torques and lifting applications also okay so this is the important thing it requires high torque torque is high requires high torque and it must useful in torques and lifting applications next next characteristics are speed versus torque characteristics so this is the speed versus torque characteristics here the torque is in x axis speed is in y axis when it varies at initial torque speed is very very high torque is very very low and after that whenever saturation occur, occurs then automatically it will be follow this curve if there is no saturation it will be goes like this okay how we can tell that here here yeah, simply speed is inversely proportional to the torque inversely proportional to the torque how speed versus torque is constant simply so power is proportional to speed into torque that means power is also constant okay so generally that's why the series motor is the constant power drive that's why constant power drive they has more number of applications those are it should be useful in electric traction you know traction is very much applicable in railways next locomotives that means local trains and the trains and lifts lifts okay so these are the characteristics of the dc series motor okay so i hope all of you understand the session thank you